Hello, and welcome to Colin Corey play Nino Kuni, Luke Wrath of the White Witch. And this game is almost definitely going to be fantastic because it is um, the art style. <coughs> well, actually, it was made in collaboration with Studio Ghibli. Ghibli? 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 Whatever. Ghibli? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, and this is the studio that brought you all of the Miyazaki films. Uh, it's it's Hayao Miyazaki's company. And so, I'm super excited. I don't know anything about the story. Cole's a little bit into it, so he, get, he has like a, a basic idea of what it's about, but yeah. I, I expect nothing. Basically, if it's even remotely close to the Miyazaki movies I watched as a kid, Porco Rosso, Kiki's Delivery Service, and My Name is Totoro, even in the slightest, and just from watching like this opening cutscene, uh, it kind of seems like it's going to be that way. I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just be completely okay with it. Other than that, I'm pretty sure it's just like a standard RPG. Standard RPG fair, I mean, like the combat system, I know nothing about it. What do you know, Nicole? Is it like Grandia? Is it like Final Fantasy? Is it like, what is it? I really don't know anything about the combat system. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it's just your, you know, your standard JRPG. But uh, from just looking at like these cutscenes here, it's like it's kind of. Like, well, I mean, look at these like, guys in the bubbles, and yeah. I'm in like a Pokemon battle. Kind of, yeah. But, uh, Still, I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. And I'm just excited to basically try something I know nothing about. I love Miyazaki, it holds like a really nostalgic like, part of my childhood. Which I'm sure it does for a lot of people, yeah. yeah. especially gamers. So, hopefully this will be fun. Yeah, let's get right into it. Let's create a new game. We are going to be playing this game, Suck. Suck, yes. Because, even though I like, um, I'm actually really always impressed with like how good the English voice actors are in uh, Miyazaki movies. But, just for the sake of like, I don't know, I think people prefer subs. I prefer subs in most animes except for maybe Dragon Ball. And that's just nostalgia. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna be doing it on normal difficulty. I'm sure Man, it's not no. gonna be that hard. No. Watch me like fucking die. Die in like the first battle. <laughs> Eat my words within like the first ten minutes of the game. Seriously. So that little loading screen logo down the bottom right apparently is part of the game's own language. Yeah, I wonder what that meant. Something that you see in the manual. I wonder if it's just like a number or a letter. Mm -hmm. This or game is pretty. Yeah, yeah it, very, it, it really is. So we have a little boy and a little thing. Team Tom tells just down the way. Okay, that's like something out of a fairy, a fairy tale. Yes, uh, he is actually the king of the fairies. It's Mr. Derp. Okay, he's the king of the fairies. <gasps> derps. That little thing is the king of the fairies. Yep. <laughs> That's not running for it, man. They didn't really wow. go for it. Mm -hmm. Talk about what a what a benign stampede of moose. Moodurps. Moodurps. Yeah. What about that? That little thing with a lantern on his nose is the king of the fairies. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fucking gorgeous. Wow. Awesome. Alright, I'm already pretty stoked. Oh yeah, that's another thing that I'm really excited about for this game. The music is composed by Joe Hisaishi, who's done music for uh, the other Miyazaki films, like almost any big Miyazaki film you can think of, Princess Mononoke, or uh, My Neighbor Totoro, uh, Kika's Delivery Service, uh, I, Hisaishi did it. Mm -hmm. And it's awesome. Like, his style, it's unlike anything I've ever heard. I don't listen to a lot of orchestral music, but his style is so unique and so... I don't know, uplifting. It makes you want to, like, just listen to it. Well, yeah, it, it's really good at evoking emotion, it in, yeah. I think. Really. And, like, melodically, it's composed in a really... I don't know, a really good... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Just from listening to the opening scene, like, uh, on the main menu. Yeah. <laughs> it was just... It, it was very catchy. I drew you in. Yeah. Like the intro music for, for this, even just yeah. showing you the different characters and stuff, it just is completely evocative of Miyazaki movies just because you can tell like the similarities between Hisaishi's compositions. <laughs> Princess Mononoke probably had like my favorite Jewel Station soundtrack. That's probably my favorite movie, actually. I really like that one too. 
I just like it because it's very dark. Well, it was a lot darker than like yeah. what you're used to. I'm I'm a fucking bubbly sucker for bright, happy, <laughs> happy go lucky. That's like if I if I'm totally honest with you, my favorite uh, my favorite Miyazaki movie is either Kiki's Delivery Service or Porco Rosso. Kiki's Delivery Service is pretty good. Yeah, Kiki's Delivery Service is pretty fantastic. Yeah. I'm a sucker for airships. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. I fucking love airships. My dream is that one day we'll stop using big tin airplanes. Big, okay, I say tin, sorry. Um, we'll stop using airplanes and we'll start flying around in zeppelins again. Yes. Welcome to Motorville. Okay. Welcome AKA to America. the USA. Dude, okay, we literally live in the heartland of the middle of nowhere, America. Seriously. Have you ever seen a city that looks this gorgeous mm. anywhere? In here, like uh, in the here? United no. States? Not around here. I don't know. Hey. Oh, hi, I think for 35 oh, cents, did you see oh, that? Yeah, I saw I that. Wish. Is this like set in the, um, mm. three cents for produce? This has to be quite a while. 20s and 30s, you think? Well, well, let's see the cars outside again. Okay. I mean, just looking at these prices. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Oops. Miss Layla. Layla. I think it must be like the 20s or the 30s. Hey, Oli. Like that. hey, Ollie. Huh. That's like a 50s car. Yeah. Maybe, I, I mean, the time's basically unimportant. It's just supposed to be evocative of a certain type of era. Mm -hmm. Maybe not like a 20s, 30s, 40s thing necessarily. Just. Anyways, that's just generic advice. Let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. He's talking about his hot rod. Heck yeah. She's real beautiful, ain't she? And brand new, too. <laughs> okay. No, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> Sorry, man. We just can't be as cool as you with your hot rod. Yeah, they're Idaho potatoes. Seriously. Of course they're fucking cheap. <laughs> nice, healthy french fries for the kid. <laughs> yes! Where is this chip from? I feel like that was a dig at America. <laughs> yeah. Well, good morning, Oliver. How's your mother? I have a mom? I think we're supposed to go that way. Okay. Joe's Butcher Shop. Sausages. Layla's Milk Bar. Oh, that was her. Layla's Milk Bar? A milk bar? Julie's Julie's. Julie's <laughs> Ring yourself in! <laughs> yeah, I think we're supposed to talk to Phil. Paige Turner's books. Oh, stop. Get it? Please. Get it? You're so punny! Layla said, is it really what I think it is? <laughs> this guy's kind of a, a little bit. No, he's, he's, he's something else. He looks like he'd be like the stuck-up friend. You know, like the, uh, the what, upper class. Why, 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 why is that? Because he has glasses and, no, no. and dresses in nice clothes? No, and, uh, it's just the way he talks uh, down to you. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> You might have noticed that the thumbnail for this video is me as Oliver, <laughs> and yeah, I have hipster glasses <laughs> and long hair, and I don't wear suspenders, although I kind of wish I did. You probably should. Yeah, I probably should, actually. I live in Idaho. Yeah, and we'll get, you, <laughs> we'll get you a King of the Fairies to follow you around. Actually, can you be my King of the Fairies, Cole? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna, Bullshit! I'm not going to attach a lantern wow. to my nose. <laughs> Really? I mean, like, I'm sure if we get you drunk enough, you'll consent at some point. <laughs> Probably. Be like, hey, have you ever considered getting a nose <laughs> lantern? A <laughs> nose lantern. Uh, how, how about a nose lantern? I'm, I'm gonna wanna... start a new fad. Yeah, dude. Nose straight nose fucking up. And I'll start wearing suspenders and shit. I don't know, man. I'm from Washington. I'm supposed to be rocking the Macklemore haircut. <laughs> and not. I fear not. What is the name? Alright, you're radiant, huh? He looks so happy. He does. It's just, it's just innocent. My childhood was not like that. No. My childhood was not that, that innocent and fun and full of milk bars and Joy's Jewels and Page Turner book chores. <laughs> okay, so the map's up there. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Pretty basic. Press R1 to switch to local map. Okay. good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, Persona. Yeah. Just a little bit, just the style. I don't know. Have you ever played Persona? Uh, I never really got into them. I tried playing, I think it was three... That's 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 the one that I only played a little bit of. Um, I I had an old roommate at play through Persona Four. You know how Final Fantasy Twelve I didn't actually play through, but yeah. I watched the whole thing. Because, yeah. Wow, buddy, watch he, out! He stopped really quick. Yeah, seriously. 
Um, I had he played through it, and I watched the the whole story. He did the same thing with Persona Four. <laughs> really cool game, actually. I don't know when the diner opens. You kidding me? I'm fucking six, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know these things. Let me get right on that. I'm carrying around a bag <laughs> and a milk bottle that's literally as big as my head. <laughs> I mean, like, do I look like I know what time the diner opens? Hello, ma'am. Good morning, Oliver. Oh my. What an awful mess. Yeah, you should probably clean your fucking sidewalk, lady. Seriously, lady. This is the 50s. If you don't conform, then you're just completely fucking weird. Wow, okay, it has to be the 50s. Yeah, definitely. This is just swell. Swell. I might go sit in the town square. I like that guy's style. That's what I want to do. Nope, oh, I missed something. Nope. I, I guess I missed everything. What are you talking bite about? The, bite the bullet on what? What? Uh, oh, he's a handyman, I get it. Cool. Oh, so this is where 50s porn was filmed, huh? Yeah. Alright. Did you order a sausage pizza? Oh, you skipped your house. I did, because I want to go talk to this blue dot. Oh. A little blue dot person of interest. Well, now they see nothing. Philip has secretly been working away at something. Philip's the dick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Yeah, he's the, the one that I said looks like the stuck-up one. He's telling us not to cause trouble. Ha! Ha! How raw, how, how little he knows about. Philip reminds me of Tomba from um, Kiki's Lady Series. Yes. Did you see that one? Yes. Yeah. So like, scruffy orange-haired kid with glasses, <laughs> inventing shit. Alright. Hey, hello. Wow. Oliver's mom's cute. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like not to not to be one that gets hot and bothered over pixels or anything, but, but I'm hot and bothered over pixels. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so hard right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at that. Now I want a baguette. Holy fuck! That bacon's huge. Those eggs are like, dude. Where do we buy bacon and eggs like that? I want some. I mean, we go through enough in this house, but like, dude. If we had bacon and eggs that big, we'd be fucking. He just picked up the entire egg. Is that how you eat? That's not how you eat eggs. I mean, I mean, like you mean that's not normal. (laughs) It's not normal to eat two eggs and two slices of bacon in literally (laughs) ten seconds. (laughs) Each one's a bite. Bye, sweetie. Mm. Aw, Oliver's mom is sweet. She's a nice lady. She's a nice lady. She's a classy lady. She's the type of lady I would take out to dinner and call again. Hey, Phil, you didn't go to school yet. School sh- Wow, what a cool kid. Cool sh- He's calling me kiddo. Isn't he my, my same age? Yeah, I told you he was a stuck up one. It's a cunt! Yeah. Our dream machine. Oh. Interdestined. What do you think they invented? Boxcars. Boxcars, okay. Because it's like the 50s ish, you know? That was okay. kind of a thing back I then. I guess that'll work. Dum dum, this guy is just <laughs> full of wit! Look at him! He's so edgy. I bet next thing, man, fucking don't cut yourself on that edge, Philip. Jeez. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight is the night. Tonight's the night for what, Philip? <laughs> Philip Senpai, please. What are we doing in the garage? <laughs> if you say pop, I swear to God, I'm Not just gonna, gonna fucking exit right <laughs> I'm just gonna fucking nope right out of the room. I'm trying to see what these symbols mean, but I can't find them on here. I don't think they mean anything. Maybe they don't. Because these are just it's just letters. Mm. Yeah, those are letters, and that those are too basic, though, yeah. I think. Oh, she's not sleeping, Oliver. What? She is not sleeping. She is a sweetheart. She is a nice lady. I bet she doesn't even masturbate. What? What? <laughs> what? What? She's a nice things. lady. Yes. Yeah, I take her out to dinner. That's so, right. Um, that must um, be your um, 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 um. Backpack, backpack. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, he has a quill, too. Hell, yeah. Dude, this kid is legit. He's rocking suspenders, a nice shirt. oranges behind him. A sick backpack. Those are, wow. There are oranges behind him. Mm -hmm. What more does he need? Uh, Literally nothing. Except maybe a A giant giant book. A giant-ass book. (laughs) Yeah, okay. All right. Proved us wrong. To start from the point where you left off. Mm -hmm. Thanks. I think this is is similar to the Persona font, too. Okay, so we're sneaking out of the house. I like how he actually sneaks down the stairs. I actually want to see if I can fuck it all up and, uh... Oh, oh what's this? Oh, hello. 
Oh, that's your room. This is okay. my room. <coughs> I thought you were going to go I wonder if there's like through. anything, you know how like at the beginning of RPGs sometimes there are things that you can pick up and like potions, like you know in Pokemon how you can go to the computer and pick up your potion. Yes. I wonder if there's anything like that in well, this game. And so far there just not, looks like it's not seem to be. Try to walk to your mom's room. That's what I was thinking. It's probably going to be like da, da, da. locked. Mom's nope. fast asleep. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. Well, all right. Okay, R1 is the map. Because I definitely need a map of, uh, a, of a Motorville. House. Yeah. Now this is Motorville. This is the whole city. Kind of oh, reminds gotcha. me of um, of Onnit from Earthbound. Like never did play like Earthbound. Chicka. You never played Earthbound? Mm -mm. We're going to have to do an LP of that one of these days. Yes. Earthbound's great. It's classic. Like It's a little uh, kitschy. It's a little offbeat. But that's kind of what makes it so fun. Huh. They came out with a sequel uh, a few years back called Mother 3, because Earthbound was a sequel to the Nintendo version of Earthbound. It was, and in Japan, I think the series is called Mother. Okay. And so, um, I don't know, it's it's offbeat. You, like, use psionic power, psychic powers to fight, like, aliens and <laughs> baseball bats and cars and, I don't know, weird shit, but it's a lot of fun. Sort of normal yeah, everyday life, good. right? Uh, Japan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big crazy. Can confirm. Hello, ma'am. What are you doing out so late? Oh, oh, what am I doing out so late? Oh, I believe well, I asked you. Let me tell you, uh, you're actually, wow, she's actually really short. Yeah. Check it. Because I thought Oliver was... <laughs> He's like eight-ish. Yeah, seriously. He's got like a big head, too. He reminds me of like Tristana. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, what are you up to out so late? Where are you making There's out? There's nobody else. Where are you making out? I'm pretty sure. Where are you swapping the herps? I'm pretty sure did, there's... Oh, hi, there's. um, uh, what? Did you, did you, did you... Yes, I just want to... Wow. Now you have to go behind the fence and watch. Oh, God. <laughs> they won't notice me here. Nah, man, Oliver's eight. Let's retain his innocence and yes. just, like, let it be. Yes. This town has way too nice architecture for uh, an American western town. Yeah. ちょっと待ってな、俺は。ごめん。母さんがなかなか寝てくれないんですが、それで完成したの。あ、what it's pretty small. I'm huge. So is that car. Oh, I love the enthusiasm. That's pretty great. Okay, there's nobody around. Now, uh, bend over. <laughs> Let me see now. <laughs> Sure, let me get right on. Why is he calling me kiddo? He's such a dick. I'm not fucking. I'm. I'm. You were the same age. Watch out for Steering Mary. Steering Mary. Dude, seriously, this guy's wit is the sick. Sharp as a fucking tack. To her olds. Have you ever called your parents your olds? Never in my life. Never in my life. Like, the stupidest thing I've ever called him was, like, the rents. I, I, okay, I've never even gotten that far. You yeah. got me beat. Sorry. But then again, in northern Idaho, you guys say sloots. <laughs> you call yes. people sloots. Yes. People of the internet, sloot is not a word. I, like, I mean, I'm just from, I'm, I'm like, from the state right over, literally just 60 miles away. I've never used the word sloot in my life. Okay? Yeah. Sluts? Yeah, sure. But sloot? What the fuck is a sloot? Okay, so Philip is making fun of you for maybe liking a girl. Yeah. See, I told you. So, <laughs> Philip doesn't like women. More for me. Well, and that is probably going to have to end our first episode. All right, when we come back, hopefully Philip will stop being such a fucking dick. Doubt it. Probably.